You weren't a nerd, honey, but remember when she was in middle school, you were kind of this a little awkward? What? <laughs> 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 Made from scratch. Jesus, all right, there you go. An intimate look into the lives of your favorite artists. These traditions become very important. It makes a place feel like home. As they make the food they grew up eating. It's amazing. With the people who know them best. It made them who they are today. We do unto others as we would have them do unto us. Be on the lookout for this one. On this episode, Dancer, director, recording artist, and Prince protege, Danny Lay, is cooking up her favorite Dominican recipe. Hitting the whoa. <laughs> with her little sister, Brianna. But first, singer, songwriter, and platinum MC Sweetie is in the kitchen with her aunt Whitney. Can't stop, won't stop, get wild. And grandma Roxanne. That's why you like the cornbread, because it's just butter and sugar. <laughs> Today, we're going to make some gumbo. I'm going to let y'all prep. I'll do the uh, easy part. Uh-uh. Get back over here. <laughs> That's what she always doing. <laughs> Every holiday. This gumbo is andouille sausage, shrimp, some crab. What we're going to do is take these nice prawns in here, nice shrimp, and we're going to take the shells off of them, and we're going to devein them. I'm going to slice up the chicken. This is a family tradition, this gumbo. Where did gumbo come from, Grandma? Well, the history of gumbo is kind of, it's kind of sketchy. Mm -hmm. But the word gumbo uh, comes from West Africa. Mm -hmm. And the word gumbo, believe it or not, it means okra. And they didn't have like, okra a lot of the time, so what they had to do was they had to use other sources. Uh -huh. And so this is interesting because our family can trace their roots to the Shakta Native American tribe out of um, Oklahoma. They came from Oklahoma because the United States government decided they would take them off their land and put them on reservations, and at least 2,500 of the Choctaw tribe died on the way, and they call it the Trail of Tears. It's kind of uh, emotional when you make a pot of gumbo because you think about all those things and what happened. But you're going to cut it down the back mm -hmm. because you don't want all the defecation the inside boo -boo. the shrimp. You're right. Ew, stop. Jeez, stop. <laughs> so nobody ever knows this because I leave this part out of the interviews. Only my family calls me Didi. Dee Dee. She only likes her family calling her Didi. Dee Dee. Yes, so Sweetie came from an extension of Didi. Dee Dee. My grandma used to call me Dee Dee Sweetie, and that's where I got Sweetie from. It's actually Dee 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 Granny Sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> we used to call her Sumo. Yeah, she I, used to, be, sumo I used to be a big girl growing up. Me Just the understatement. <laughs> you need to stop clowning with me. <laughs> no, I was. We're boiling the shells right now because it's the heads and the shells that cause you to have that nice seafood base for the gumbo. We're going to put some, some pepper in there, some onion powder, and some Old Bay. Chop up the onions and the bell peppers. We're going to just put it in the pot with a little corn oil in there. Mm -hmm. This looks good, girl. I don't know what I'd be doing if I didn't have my, somebody like my grandma in Aww. my corner. I'm not conscious about being classy. I'm not conscious about being smart. I think I was just bred that way. She was at the point to where she's like, I'm, I'm, I'm rapping, this is what I'm doing, but it wasn't taking off as soon as she wanted it to take off. So she calls me, she's like, Auntie, I want to find a job. I started going on um, job interviews for hospitals, and I was just to make us happy. Lying huh? on my application. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they would offer me these positions, 
And right before, like, I would, you know, agree to, you know, be hired or whatever it was, like, my heart just didn't feel right. Feel right. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to go hard for a year. And if it don't work out, then I'll go back to the Bay and I'll just live with my family and figure it out. You know what? The moral of the story is follow your dreams. Doesn't you know, matter who tries to discourage you. can't stop, you. won't stop, geek wild. <laughs> You had the vision. We didn't have the vision. I'm so glad you followed your vision. This is going to be lovely. Wait, is he still alive? Hello? <laughs> no, he's not alive. Today, we're going to make some gumbo. We're going to put the chicken in, and we're going to cook the chicken in the pot. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the andouille sausage and we're going to start to chop it up. What about the cornbread? Should we make the cornbread? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Get a stick of butter out there. Growing up, I really love cornbread. I put sugar in this, too. That's why I like it. I'll just crack the egg in here and then I'll mix it up like that. Yeah, that's good. Just kind of mix it up. And if it just starts coming over the top, just mix it on top of here. We all know how your African-American side, what role we played in your life. But mm -hmm. your mom, who is like a daughter to me, is Filipino. Did well, you ever get conflicted about who you were? Because Yes, because it's just like, <laughs> we have y'all on one side that's crazy and wild. And uh -huh. then we got my Filipino side that's, you know, very traditional, very reserved. So it was frustrating because I always felt like I had to kind of adjust to the environment. Right. But I feel like it kind of just helped me in the real world because it let me know that no two groups of people, people are, are the people. same. People are people. That's yeah, right. Yeah, people are people. As I got older, I was able to, you know, just learn both sides. Yeah, and the beautiful part about it is that we've been blessed with uh, good families. And your family so big. Uh-huh, good families. Ooh. That's why you like the cornbread, because it's just butter <laughs> and sugar. <laughs> this is going to cook for about 35 minutes. The last and most important parts that we're getting ready to do right now, I'm going to make the roux. So it's corn oil and flour, that's all it is. And you're just gonna mix it up. And this is what thickens the whole pot. This is gonna take about 20 minutes to darken and thicken. A little seasoning salt. And so you just stir it, stir it constantly for about 20 minutes until you get the desired uh, color. And we want a chocolate color. Are we gonna put the shrimp in there, Grandma? The shrimp goes in there. We're gonna put the shrimp and in the here? crab inside the pot. Just dump the shrimp in after and it washes. cooks? It. Well, the shrimp first. And then the crab. Okay. This is gonna be lovely. Wait, is he still alive? <laughs> <Hello. laughs> no, he's not alive. Did you ask if he was alive? <laughs> <laughs> See, we gotta get all this gook off the crab. One of the kids told me. You don't probably don't want to listen to Diddy's new album. I feel like I have had to kind of like monitor what I say only because oh. you know I respect my family, I respect my grandma. She's one of the people who raised me. So, you know, sometimes I wasn't able to talk about everything I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Serious. You know what? That makes me so happy that you would have that kind of respect. I respect your right to be who you are also. And I'm not going to be up in the club listening to it anyway. <laughs> of course, you know, y'all going to hear it one way or another. And I was just always scared about what y'all was going to think. No, no, I was think grandma's like... getting to the point to where she's like, OK, she's kind of like accepting it. No, it's, it's, just like, like, it's just that you're grown. <laughs> What'd you say? I said you're getting up because you like good good. Oh, yeah, I did. I sang it to your papa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK, do you see that color? Uh-huh. That's perfect. Are you all right? Push it in. Just wait. It's hot. You see how it's turning it real chocolatey? Mm-hmm. Mm, it smells so good. Be careful. It's cornbread. It's cornbread. So that's done. <laughs> OK, we're ready to eat this. Mm. Oh, it smells good. Does that smell good? We have to give thanks because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us, right? Mm-hmm. Come on. 
Father, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you would bless this food, Lord, and we will give you great praise for it. You have been so good to us. Amen. 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 <laughs> Ooh, it was good. I did my thing with this down low. <laughs> you did. We did it together. Hopefully, I don't see you the next time just on your New Year's. I know we're going to cook this, but I'm going to see you before then. We got to see you before then. I miss you so much, baby. I miss you too. Oh, for real, though. I miss you too. Oh, <laughs> nice. What shall we cook next time? Some fettuccine pasta with, with the scallops and the lobsters. <laughs> Coming up on Made from Scratch. This is mommy's seasoning. She didn't tell me how much I needed to put of any of this. Do you want to call her? Wow, she played us. Tell me all the things that you don't say, just want it on us. You're making me eat meat today? Yes. <laughs> Crazy. This is a family tradition, so we had to do this today. We are cooking Dominican lasagna. Platanos, meat, and cheese. Remember when we used to eat this all the time? This is literally my favorite. <laughs> this is why I wanted to do this, because I was yeah. like, we're gonna eat good today. Dominicans have the best food. I love Dominican food. That's literally my favorite food. It is in so life. good. Honestly, like, I was raised in restaurants. Yeah. It was La Pelota in Miami. And then Orlando, we had Tamboros. Mm -hmm. My first job, I was a little hostess at 14. Hi, welcome to Tamboros. How many in your party? How can I help you? Do you like can any water? Can I start water? you off with some drinks? <laughs> All right. This is the part I'm scared about. This is mommy's seasoning. Why do you guys have all this extra stuff? Why do you just don't have, like, the little pepper? Because stuff? this is how you make it real homemade, man. OK, OK. So. Oh, are we going to start crying? I don't like this. I hate this. You should do this. I don't know how to cut an onion. You don't know how to cut an onion? No. <laughs> you know how to cut a pepper? No, I don't know how to cut a pepper. <laughs> what? It's so easy. OK. What do you know how to do in the kitchen? Um, Cereal? I literally was going to say cereal. <laughs> I hate onions. It's <laughs> gonna be okay. It's, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna live. <laughs> I'm gonna use this much because I feel like this is a good amount and I don't know. Onions. So you don't even know how much you're supposed to put. So what if you put so much and it tastes like an onion? It's no, because. Meal. No, 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 no. Mommy, she didn't tell me how much I need to put of any of this. Do you wanna call her? Forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Wow, Zero. she played us. Oh, she's calling oh, us back, okay. Question. Yeah. How much onions and peppers and cilantro do I put? You never, you told me how much garlic, but not any of the other things. Just half of everything. Okay. Half an onion to um, blend, <laughs> and half of a bunch of cilantro. Cool. Bye. Bye. It's good. <laughs> it's good. So now we're going to pop these inside. Teamwork. Oh, this is probably not smart. Be careful. Brianna. <laughs> that was not smart at all. OK, I'm going to get the meat now. The meat. The yes. meat. Meat today shall be interesting. This is the first time I had meat in 2019. Wow, I'm so sorry I turned you. Oh, you're not supposed to wash the meat? No. No? You don't wash meat. Well, not no. ground beef. <laughs> not ground beef. Like chicken you'd wash. Yeah, chicken you'd wash. <laughs> don't mind me. Then we put a little bit of goya. Adobo. Adobo? Adobo. 
all Dominicans know what adobo is. If you Hello. don't know what adobo is, you're not Dominican. Yes. Coming up on Made From Scratch. We're gonna make... What is Sinyanda? <laughs> okay. All right. We are cooking Dominican lasagna. Looks fire. <laughs> wow, raw meat looks fire. Let's talk about your album, actually. Yo, this is my first album with Def Jam. It gotta be strong. And I feel like I really show my versatility, too. Yeah, what's your dance moves? Yo, Killer dance moves. Hitting the whoa. whoa. <laughs> Seeing people like get motivated by me, see them get inspired, like getting fans telling me like I helped them with their life or things like that. I'm like, wow, this is so dope. All the opportunities that I had in life with Prince and like Chris. Oh yeah. Drake and just different like moments in my life that makes me feel like I'm supposed to be doing this too, you know? You know I met Drake and stuff and everything. After the Kiki challenge, like You did? You didn't know that? No. He was in Chicago, and I was like, yo, I'm out here. He was like, I would love to invite your team and you to the concert. So then after he had like an after party, he literally like walked in and literally like went straight to me. Oh, maybe he'll get a feature with you. No, facts, that's the goal, but I'm always just gonna keep it as like a friendship right now and not be like, hey, you wanna get on my song? Cause I'd rather him just hear something and then like wanna get on it. You don't wanna be that person. I mean, honestly, with this next album coming, I feel like that's really gonna just take me to that next level for real, for real. So just continuing to be consistent with bangers and then it'll happen, you know? Wow. Oh, I love butter. <laughs> <laughs> can I try this? Yeah, you can try it. Let's see. See if it passes the test. Mm. Yeah, is it good? Wow. It's kind of like mashed potatoes, but like, but with bananas, so it's like sweet. Okay, wait, that's, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough? Yeah, because you have to flatten it out and then add another layer. Oh, because you put the meat over yeah. it. Yeah. And the cheese and, yeah. So proud of us. Wow, look at us. Now I know how to make this. Yeah. Now we have the cheese. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Then we apply one more layer. Lasagna, man. Okay. Oh, look at the layers. 30 minutes to cook. Goals. So now, Danny, we're gonna make Morisignando! <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Milk. I know. You're trying to kill me today. <laughs> Amor y soñando is Dominican's drink. Milk. You got to put the milk in first, right? Yeah. Because if you put the orange juice first? It will cradle because of the acidity in it. Curdle. <laughs> curdle. What is it called? It will curdle. Curdle? <laughs> Get a curdle? It will curdle. What happened to that one? Add the sugar. Oh. Because it's not morisinando if it's not sweet. Vanilla extract. Pour it in. OK. We literally just made morisinando in a vase. We're gonna have a moment, ready? Yeah. Ready, moment. Mm. Moments. <laughs> now that we're waiting here, I've always wanted to learn how to dance with Danny Lay. <laughs> Please show me how to dance with Danny Lay. All right. Seven, eight, one, two, three, down, ha, di, ha, ta, ta. Yeah. Good job, you learned that math quick. You do have rhythm. I think the food is almost done. Ooh, yeah, that was good. Mm. Wow. wow. We did that. I can't believe we cooked this. Ooh. Mm. The 
Look, that it looks so good. Mm. This is really good. This is my favorite, like, food in the world. It's so crazy how I don't eat meat, cheese, or milk, and I'm eating all this <laughs> at once. I'm gonna call mommy and show her this. Yeah, you got to. Look at this. Oh my god. We did. did that? Yeah. Liar. No, we, we did have it. We went to a Dominican restaurant and bought it. No. no. Oh, you need another piece? You want another piece? Let's eat all of this now. <laughs> We're not eating all of it. <laughs>